Hello Gems, we're here at Disney's Hollywood Studios and we're going to eat at Hollywood Brown Derby. Let's go! The Hollywood Brown Derby at Disney's Hollywood Studios is a replica of the famous Brown Derby restaurant in Hollywood. It offers a classic Hollywood atmosphere and serves upscale American cuisine. The menu features dishes like Cobb salad and grapefruit cake, paying homage to the original Brown Derby's iconic creations. The restaurant is known for its elegant decor and caricature sketches of Hollywood celebrities adorning the walls, creating a nostalgic and immersive dining experience. We've made our way over to the Brown Derby. Let's take a look at the menu and see what they have. They have a lot of good appetizers here. They've got a oyster soup, a crab louie, beet and burrata. I probably won't get that. Um, charcuterie though and shrimp cocktail, that's probably what we're gonna get. And then for their entrees, they've got a filet mignon, which we'll definitely get. Uh, some fish options, a chicken, and their Cobb salad, which I've had many, many times. It is really good, but I'm not going to get that tonight because I'm going to get their mm, pan-roasted halibut. I saw that, and that comes with scallops and mussels, which I love both. So yeah, and then they have some um, enhancement options. You can get a shrimp, mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts. You know I'm going to be skipping that and spoon bread. So first up, I got a non-alcoholic mocktail, as I usually do. This is the Sunset Boulevard. It's Sprite with orange tangerine and a glow cube. So let's see how this tastes. Oh, that is good. Yes. <laughs> I really love that. I've had it before. The orange tangerine flavor with Sprite is just, it's so different and inventive and I love a good glow cube. This is very, there's quenching, not too sweet. Yeah, so it's a, it's a great mocktail, not too sweet. I, I really like the citrus um, flavor. It's, I think not as much orange as tangerine, so yeah. But overall, it's a mocktail, it's good. Five out of five tiaras. So next we have the bread service. This comes with, I guess these are Parker House rolls and the butter. The butter is a really good quality, but on top it has this pink Himalayan sea salt. It's so good. I already know how this tastes, but let's see how this tastes. good. The rolls aren't hot, though. I w yeah, I would have liked hotter rolls, but um, still a good start to our meal. But the bread, I, I might give like a four out of five <laughs> tiaras. So yeah, it's just bread, but fine. The butter. Is the, is the best. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. So next up we have the shrimp cocktail. These shrimps are ginormous. Let's see how this tastes. Oh. Mm, that is really good. It looks really cold. Like, yes. super chill. I'm not a food critic, but I really like it. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. That shrimp cocktail was amazing. Um, would you say this one or the Yachtsman was better? Because we just ate there recently, so if you're interested in that video, I'll put a link. Um, I, ca I think this one. I think there's more to this one. This one has more stuff on the plate. It has more sauce. And the shrimp, the shrimp are the same-ish size, I think, which is jumbo. Like, beyond jumbo, beyond anything that you could purchase at Publix. Um, 
that was really, really good. The shrimp were like a little bit sweet. Yeah, and, and the texture was great. They're cooked perfectly. If you cook shrimp too long, they get like rubbery, but if you don't cook them long enough, they're um, like slimy almost, like an oyster, um, but not, not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. So it, it comes with um, wasabi. Is that what that is? Avocado. Avocado. Sorry. Okay. I I got excited for a second thinking that I might have some spice, but no. So, yeah. Um, overall, this is a great appetizer. Worth the high seat price, but worth it. I would give this a 5 out of 5 tiaras. So next up, you know I love a charcuterie board. This one looks fabulous. You've got prosciutto stone ground mustard i guess these are like pepperoni type things you have some crusty bread and some sort of meat here we're still not exactly sure what that is we were never given a description of this i've just had so many charcuterie boards that i can kind of name <laughs> what's on them um and then we've got a blue cheese blue cheese is my favorite with a little jam on the side and I think they also, are these olives, you think? Yeah, olives, which I won't eat. I don't like olives. And then two other types of cheeses on the end. One's like a Swiss type. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but if I think to ask the waiter, then I will, but I am salivating, so let's dig into this thing. But first I'll try a little bread with some blue cheese and whatever jam this is. Let's see how this tastes. absolutely amazing as I expected it would be. The blue cheese is a little bit more of a mild blue cheese. It doesn't have as much mold in it, um, which is what really gives that pungent, stinky cheese flavor. And then the jam on the side, I'm wondering if it's fig jam. I think it might be. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll ask the waiter when he comes back. <laughs> now I've got some prosciutto with a little stone ground mustard. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just have to tell you what Jason just said. He put prosciutto and pepperoni, was it? It's a salami, I think. Salami, yeah. He put this and prosciutto on um, bread, I guess, and he said it was like a, a fancy pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. Prosciutto is perfect. The stone ground mustard is, makes the difference. Yeah, it was good. It's, I love it. So now I've got a little crusty bread with the cheese and some jam. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so good. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm enjoying myself. Um, I love charcuterie so much. Did you ever hear that Millennials love charcuterie because it's just fancy Lunchables and that's what we were raised on. So <laughs> I think that's definitely me. I ate Lunchables all the time, all the time. So yeah, that cheese was really um, nice, like mild smoky flavor, very creamy. As I ate it, it just got better and better. Like all of the flavors coming together, the, the jam and the cheese. I love nothing more than jam and cheese. Like, I could just eat that my whole life. So it also has this, um, like, pork, we think. We're not exactly sure. We don't care. It's amazing, whatever it is. So I have a piece of the cold pork and um, stone ground mustard. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So I asked what the things were on the um, 
charcuterie that I had no idea. So the cold, what we thought was pork, was actually duck, which is interesting because I don't super love duck. It, it usually has kind of that um, strange like aftertaste, but this really tasted like pork. We were almost sure it was pork. And then the other two cheeses were a cheddar and now I forget what the last cheese was. Goat cheese. <laughs> goat cheese. I don't normally like goat cheese, but that was really good. So charcuterie board, I don't know. I think this is a platinum tiara. This charcuterie board is one of the best that I've had anywhere on property. So first up for our entrees, Jason has the filet mignon. This has black garlic and mushroom risotto, braised spinach, bone marrow butter, and a red wine demi-glaze. This looks amazing. Let's see how we like it. Five out of five? Platinum. Oh, platinum. Platinum. I'll have to try it and see what I think. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That filet is so good. They didn't even bring him a steak knife and he was um, worried at first, but you don't need one for that. It's just so incredibly tender. It just kind of fell apart in my mouth and then it comes with like a sauce on the side that was all. I'm literally I'm like salivating I can hardly talk about this but the nice grill flavor on the outside that char and it was cooked absolutely perfectly it comes with risotto everything about this was amazing would you how would you rate it against yachtsman I know, right? Because that was also really good. This is the great Disney steak off that we're doing right now. I actually really like that. I think I'll make that a series, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this one or Yachtsman, I feel like this one's just a tad more tender, but the Yachtsman's flavor was a little more. So Jason said that the accompaniment in this meal because it has risotto, 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 whatever, um, that puts it over the edge and makes a better dish than Yachtsman's filet. So that's amazing. <laughs> For my entree, I got the pan roasted halibut. This comes with scallops, mussels, fingerling potatoes, and seafood cream. I really love seafood. I love scallops and mussels, and honestly, I couldn't care less about the halibut. I'm in this for the scallops and the mussels, so let's see how this tastes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. This is one of the best things I've ever had. There's so much happening in this dish. I'm going to try to break it down, but oh my gosh, there's like, the halibut is cooked perfectly. It's nice and flaky, actually, when I um, put my fork in it, I mean, it just kind of fell apart. That is amazing. I don't often have halibut, so like, I, I usually have salmon, but that wasn't an, an option here, so I went with the halibut, and I'm really, really glad I did. It's not a very fishy taste. Um, however, it is paired with scallops and mussels, which are pretty fishy. So if you don't like fish, I mean, obviously don't get this. It is fish. Um, but yeah, and then it's got this like seafood cream, it said. I don't know what's in this, but it is the absolute perfect accompaniment to fish. It's creamy, it's a little bit oily too, I would say. There's like oil on the top, sweet, tangy, robust. I, I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just shouting out adjectives here. But yeah, and then it has this like corn and onion um, 
stuff on the side, you know, that was also really good. Um, I haven't tried the potatoes yet. Let me try a potato. Let's see how the potato tastes. Mm. Mm. So that potato um, isn't a red potato. It's not an Idaho potato. It is a fingerling potato. A really, really nice um, flavor, not too earthy. And it has a nice char on it too, which just, this whole thing, I am so pleased with my choice. This was a more adventurous choice for me, but I highly recommend this. And also the scallops are um, the really like tiny kind. Patagonian scallops. I don't think I've ever had those before, but those were really good, and I love mussels. And these mussels are already out of the shell, so you don't have to deal with, what am I supposed to do with this? Mm. You want to try a mussel? Mussel. Mm -hmm. It's really good. <laughs> Just like the rest of the dish, it's fantastic. Yeah. And I also added an enhancement. I got the shrimp macaroni and cheese. This has herb, breadcrumbs, and smoked Gouda sauce. That sounds great. Let's see how this tastes. Shrimp mac and cheese. Mmm, good. That mac and cheese is incredible smoked gouda mac and cheese. I am going to find a recipe for this, so stay tuned on my channel um, <laughs> for that. I've, I've actually had this before. I've had it a couple times, but this, it's just so excellent. I have been sitting here taking pictures and talking about stuff. This is still hot, and I I bet anything, when it first came out, if we tried to eat it, it would have been way too hot to eat. Because a good, like, I don't know, half hour has gone by since this got put on the table. The breadcrumbs on top are, like, big. They're not, like, super grainy and fine. They're nice and crunchy, and they add such a great um, texture to that mac and cheese. And... It also has shrimp in it, which, I mean, put shrimp in anything, I'm there. Like, everything, everything about this is amazing. I don't believe I've ever given so many platinum tiaras to any restaurant before, but this one also gets a platinum tiara. I'm super looking forward to taking that home and eating it for lunch tomorrow. On today's episode of Jason's Food Hacks, Surf and turf. Filet mignon and cheesy shrimp mac and cheese. Yep. Yeah. That works. <laughs> so now I'm trying the halibut with mac and cheese. I feel like a lot of people crap all over this place. Um, and I've never really understood why. Well, there is one reason. Um, if you're not in the know, then you might get seated in the middle of the room where the tables are right next to each other, and you can literally hear the conversation of everybody around you. Um, but if you're like me, you come to check in early and are really, really nice to the cast members and ask to have a booth instead so that's how I was seated here and that really changes the whole experience but food wise I mean this place has always been great Jason and I have been coming here since like 2011 I think we can't even count how many times we've eaten here and we've never had a terrible experience some of their entrees aren't as good as others but like it's still not horrible um, but yeah I don't really give platinum tiaras to this many things at, at one restaurant um, so highly recommend the Hollywood Brown Derby we're not quite 
done yet. We still have to get dessert. So for dessert, I got their incredible special that a lot of people have um, suggested I get, their decadent chocolate cake. This is a towering chocolate cake with dark chocolate mousse and whipped ganache. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, oh my god. This is so good I could cry. <laughs> That was absolutely amazing, and thank you to everyone that suggested that I try this. There's actually also on the side, like, a little bit of a sauce that looks like it's raspberry. Absolutely love chocolate with raspberry or pretty much any fruit, honestly. Yeah, this thing has one, two, three, four layers, and there's a chocolate mousse in between each layer and then on the outside in the top is that whipped chocolate ganache absolutely fabulous with everything together like the texture of the cake is really good the mousse is i don't know it might be a little bit light it's very very good i'm i'm not knocking it at all i'm just saying like i'm i'm used to frosting in between this isn't frosting it's mousse so it's a lot lighter than I um, had anticipated, but still very refreshing and good, very sweet, very chocolatey. There isn't much more flavor in here than chocolate, which I'm perfectly fine with. So yeah, I think this was a great, a great dessert that I would highly recommend. Five out of five tiaras. That wraps it up here tonight. The Hollywood Brown Derby is one of our favorite restaurants and a lot of people just don't like it and I never understand why it's such a great time we have never had a terrible meal here or experience the service is spectacular and everything we had was great I'm contending with fireworks and the train so let me wrap this up and say if you like this please like subscribe and share I really appreciate it and as always have a magical day